Hi, today we, are, today we are going to learn how to do a simple what if analysis in Power BI. Now, what if analysis is used in scenarios where you want to quickly test multiple conditions or multiple values and see what the scenario could be or how does how the scenario changes when the value changes. Right. So, for example, uh, let's say you are on a sales team and you want to found, find out how much commission you'd make or uh, let's say you make x sales or if you make x 2x sales 3x sales 4x sales and so on so what if analysis will help you quickly uh, understand how your commission structure will change when a number amount of sales changes another example could be that let's say you're pricing a product and you want to understand how your sales will get affected by the change in the prices that you set right so it's it's common knowledge that you know the cheaper the prices uh, the more it sells so you want to understand uh, you know uh, how your sales effect gets affected when you uh, raise or lower your price so let's test that in power bi let's jump into power bi now so now to understand the water analysis in power bi i've already loaded a data set uh, for avocado sales in the US for last three years, right? And uh, I've plotted the values on the scatter plot over here. So you can get this data set if you want. You can check the link in the description below. Over here, I've plotted uh, the total volume sold in million versus the average price of an ad of a single avocado, right? Uh, if you can see the trend. You can see that you know as the prices increase generally the volume sold goes down right this is i guess uh, aligned with what we expect in the real world and uh, so now let's assume that i am an avocado farmer or avocado seller and i am currently selling my avocado at one dollar per piece right now i want to understand uh, if I raise my prices or lower my prices, how will my sales get affected? Basically, I'm interested in raising my prices to increase my profit, but I'm afraid that sales might might go down. So I want to get a quantitative figure on how my sales would be affected. And this is where a what-if analysis can help us. Right? So let's try creating a what-if uh, scenario over here. So we go to the modeling tab over here and uh, click on new parameter in under the what if section now this dialog box pops up we'll name it avocado price Oops. data type would be a fixed decimal number minimum i would say let's say 0.8 dollars and maximum would be uh, 1.6 dollars because this is the range of the data that i have and increment would be 0.1 so basically what i'm saying is that uh, i want my price i want to test my prices from 0.8 dollars to 1.6 dollars on an increment of 0.1 dollars and so basically i'm uh, trying to simulate a scenario where i'm raising my prices from 0.8 dollars to 1.6 dollars and trying to see the change in the sales or the sales percentage right i click on okay now a table gets created and it has a calculated calculated uh, column along with the measure of the same value right uh, what we can do is we can just adjust the decimal part of this of this avocado price I'll put on one decimal over here similarly for this right and you also see that a slicer has been created I'll just drag the slicer down. Now you can see that uh, a slicer goes from 0.8 to 
to point 1.6 right now we need to see uh, we have need to have some kind of a measure for the sales percentage change so i want to see if my prices go down from point if my price increase from point 0.8 over here to 1.6 how does my sales percentage change so i'll create a measure for that i click on new measure so i already have uh, built the sales percentage change for uh, measure before so i quickly paste the formula over here i'm basically trying to understand the difference or the change percentage uh, from my current sales to the new sales right so current sales is defined as the level when my prices is when my price is $1 my new sales will be whatever the scenario is selected by the uh, this water analysis right and i'll calculate the difference percentage as a sales percentage change now click on okay we have the sales percentage measure i look quickly create a kpi card and drag the sales percentage over here and change the format as a percent right now we are ready to do a water analysis so i'll start with 0.8 dollars i'll start with my default my current price that is 1 dollar so sales change percent is 0% because that is my current price if i decrease my price my sales change percent increases to 13.4 that means if i increase my price by 0.1 dollar my sales will increase by 13.4% if i decrease my price further my sales change will be 53% right but my profits might go down so that's a negative for me so let's try uh, increasing the prices beyond $1 so my sales change will be 1.1% if i increase it by $1 and uh, similarly so you you can see that you know uh, it slightly increases over here after one dollar it slightly increases but then it starts going down minus x percent minus 24.8 percent and so on right so it depends on your scenario and uh, so now i know that my sales percentage will go down by 23 percent but since i'm increasing the prices my profits will also go up so i can create a measure for the profit also if i have my cost uh, calculations ready and i can also create estimate or simulate the profit to get a final call if i should raise my prices or lower my prices right so to summarize what you have done what first we did was to uh, create a, create a new parameter from here the table gets created uh, dynamically over here a slicer gets added to the dashboard change the formats of the dynamic table and the measure created next create your own measure and use this created measure in in whatever formula that you're building over here like this and uh, finally you know try testing for different values to see what suits the scenario you can use this kind of analysis for various or a lot many other scenarios so yeah that's it if you have if you're facing any problems let me know in the comments don't forget to subscribe and share this video with someone who needs it and thank you for watching my video goodbye